On this IJDM, we're taking a look at another Sony floppy disk camera, but we're going to do something different with it. Another visitor. Stay a while. Stay forever. Okay, here's the thing. I I think these cameras have been covered more than enough by myself and a bunch of other YouTubers out there. Uh, comparing pictures between the older generation here and the newer generation and the even newer generation uh, floppy disk cameras, but I'm not going to go in that direction today. I wanted to do something a little different outside the box, and this has been pointed out on another YouTuber's channel, but I just wanted to kind of take it into a more practical sense on why you would do something like this. These cameras are fairly cheap as of last checking on um, uh, the auction site, so they're readily available. Although after this video, maybe the cost will go up. Um, keep in mind on this particular model, as I just learned, unless there's some kind of hack for it or something you do to the battery, you do have to use the info lithium batteries. Otherwise it just turns on say, nope, it's not info lithium. Tough, you know, tough, that's it, shuts off. So luckily I did have one that I used for the uh, trusty old uh, uh, Hi8 over there. And I shouldn't say that camera is trusty. That's not actually a floppy disk camera. That's the one that was the eight millimeter I fe featured a while back. It's just, it's the camera's weird. It's <laughs> it's more of a relic than it is uh, anything. It's just kind of a, a piece of my collection. But uh, let's take a look at this thing now. Uh, what we have here, a volume button, a backlight button for the LCD screen, play, still, and movie mode. We have turning flash on and off, uh, some buttons for focus, programming, display, and your menu uh, D-pad, I guess you would call it. Um, power on and off if you're using, now this camera is different because it actually offers floppy disk use through the side here, or it offers um, a thing for a Sony um, uh, memory stick. It's the long gum shaped stick like things that they always were getting proprietary on they always had to do their th weird thing with media over the years but you know it is what it is and we have something here which we'll cover in just a moment i'll go back to that but yeah i'll just tell you now it's a usb port now uh, there's a little speaker here and you know it's it's okay for handling i mean it was it was a cool camera back in the day you got your battery compartment uh down here on the bottom on the front, uh, lens cover and the lens uh, here, there is a flash uh, built in, which I think you can only use as a flash. You can't use it as a light source when taking video with it. Uh, zooming in and out and um, your shutter button there. And on this side, we do have a DC in plug, which is something something uh, very proprietary again, some kind of flat, weird plug that it uses. So I didn't even know that was there until just now. Uh, some kind of accessory connection. I'm guessing that's for maybe a wired remote. I'm guessing on that. And of course, AV in and out if you have the AV uh, breakout cable, which I did show that uh, I believe this camera has as well. Now this camera is a little different. This one doesn't actually have the memory stick. It, it doesn't. Or it doesn't have the USB functionality on it. So that's what kind of makes these two cameras different. Is you know, this only does floppy disk and you cannot connect it to a computer where this you can. This is more of something different. So moving right along, we're gonna go ahead and get right into this. So we're gonna power this camera on. Power this camera on. <laughs> okay, power button's a little wonky there. It wants me to select date and whatever, but can I just kind of guess it can't bypass it but uh, yeah sure it's January 1st 2001 at 12 11 a.m. sure why not it says no disc in it. obviously there's no disc but uh, let's see if we go to movie mode here okay yeah there we go yeah so there's the camera function looks like it's zoomed oh it is wide out well it help if I get the yeah, picture quality in the LCD is actually not great at all, but again, if somebody wants to see more on this camera, taking some pictures and actually comparing them, yeah, sure, I'll do a video, but let's say I get a special request for that. Um, we're just gonna stay on track with our original plan here. So we're gonna put this back over in play mode. I mean, how much can you say about a camera that's 20 years old, really, and cover them in different ways? We're gonna pull out a laptop. Now, I'm using Windows XP because it was more fit for the era than going with my Windows 10 machine. And I think there's an issue with, with floppy disk drivers and doing that sort of thing with the, whoop, whoop, doing that sort of thing 
um, with actually putting a floppy disk in and it reading it. I haven't figured out the secret on it. I'm not sure if it's a special drive you need or whatever. Okay, we got Windows up. So the question is, and I've been wondering, is the thing with these is they had a super fast floppy drive. It was probably, what, maybe the third or fourth evolution in floppy drives, don't quote me on that. But the thing with the, the whole floppy drive thing that I was thinking is if this is quicker, uh, going back to one of my other videos where I did music on floppy disk and we had a problem with it buffering because the uh, disk drive, floppy drive, was too slow for reading and reading the disk and actually playing it. So with a faster floppy disk, can we actually play it off of this rather than having to buffer it on the computer? Well, we're going to try that out in theory today by using a USB cable. So we have our USB cable here. And we're just gonna set this over for a moment and get this plugged in. And then right here is where the USB connects on the camera, if I can get it out of there. And we're just gonna plug that right in there. So there, we should have an external floppy disk. Very cool. Now, somebody did give this to me on loan and uh, I'm actually, after looking at it and playing around with it, I actually wouldn't mind having this as an extra floppy disk reader, but I'm not sure if you can write to it. And we are gonna try that real quick um, in this video. So we're gonna go ahead and, cause this is meant just for photo and video storing them on disk. So yeah, it prompted something right away. And I do have an MP3 on there that uh, fits on a floppy disk. So let's just see if number one uh, from the movie Real Genius plays, we'll just play yeah, a few seconds of it and see. Okay, the speaker's really low on this laptop, but yeah, it's playing. It's not buffering. I mean, if I try this on one of the old machines, well, there's a little bit of a buffer, but yeah, it's a lot smoother. The other one, I think maybe you've got a few seconds out of it. Yeah, I mean, it's playing smooth now. So we had that one little buffering thing. So yeah, that, that does work. So I can technically do that. Giant weird jump cut. I know it's because I've been having issues with my GoPro and this is actually, believe it or not, the third time I recorded this portion of the video. It just stops recording. I don't know if it's the battery. Anybody has any comments on that why the GoPro 8 keeps doing it? It's had its firmware updates. I've done this and that with it, reset it. It just seems like every once in a while it gets in a mood and it just doesn't want to. Anyhow, let's go back to what we were going to do next. And that is to test the write speed and read speed of the actual floppy disk uh, thing here. And I do have the file on there, but we're just going to go ahead and overwrite the file and see how quick this thing copies over. So let's just do a comparison here. We got the file here, so we're gonna just drag it over and say, yes, we'll overwrite that. And yeah, wow, it says 40 seconds, but it is going a lot quicker than 40 seconds. I mean, you can time it just based on the, on the time code on this video, but I mean, look at this. It is just super duper quick. Now, just, you know, for comparison, I do have Hmm, I can't seem to get the disc out of the camera. It's because it's got this wonky safety latch thing. It's something I don't care for. I wonder if there's a way to have it so it, that doesn't function. I don't, it's the only thing I don't really care about. But we'll take the same disc and we'll go ahead and use this on this. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing again using the floppy disc that I normally use, which is an old Mac type one. So let's see, copy this over. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this thing. And uh, yeah, do you see how slow this is? And this is a faster drive than even what I've, I, I've used on my other uh, laptop. So yeah, I mean, you can see that it's definitely maybe 4X or even 5X quicker, maybe six, who knows? I, I would say maybe 4X quicker, but this is definitely going slower as you can see on the meter there. Are we in focus? I'm using a totally different camera right now, so it's hence the different look and whatever. But, uh, you know, like I always say, that's how we roll here on IJDM because IJDM. And uh, on that note, yeah, that uh, was pretty slow. So let's go ahead and grab a blank disc and put it in here. And we got that in the camera. And let's test the write speed. Oh, 
there is a file already on there. And yes, you can write to disk here. It doesn't have to be photo or video. Um, the, the general idea of this camera is obviously photo and video, but yeah, you can use this. Uh, you can read from disk and you can write to disk. And yeah, wow, that's, that is super duper quick. I mean, I definitely, I borrowed this camera. I definitely want to purchase one of my own now and try to find a complete kit on eBay as long as I can't, you know, they're not too expensive, but uh, it'd be a great tool for having when I have to transfer or copy or do different things with, uh, with floppy disk. That'll do it for this IJDM. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have some more interesting old tech coming up along with some newer stuff uh, in the near future um, once we get the camera thing sorted out. But I do have a thing coming up on this PCM CIA card slot thing. Uh, it'll probably be a piece of a, a bigger video that I've been working on. But we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day.